Is it an absolute must to learn to jump and hit the ball properly in order for one to become an effective beach volleyball attacker? What's up? Today is going to be sort of a special episode here at Learn Beach Volleyball Fast. It's going to be kind of mind opening and for some people maybe even inspirational. In short, we're going to have sort of a case study on one of my friends. He's a beach volleyball player here from up from northern Sweden. He's interesting because he's a little bit shorter and pretty much never jumps, which in reality means that when he's playing, pretty much never any of his body parts, including his hands, are over the height of the net. Yet he still plays beach volleyball on quite a high level and gets people frustrated with his attacking style. Up here where we're from, everybody knows him and knows how he plays, but I thought now it's time for the rest of the world to actually be able to get inspired and see how he does it. So his playing style is absolutely not for everybody. But after we've looked at him, I'm gonna explain sort of my thoughts on how I believe that for a lot of people, it's actually a lot better strategy to learn his attacking style than the normal jump high and spike hard sort of attacking technique. But for now, let's say welcome to Eric Nygaard and let's have a look at his tomahawking abilities. Hope you enjoyed watching Eric play as much as I enjoy watching him playing and playing with him. He's a very fun guy to play with actually, with those sort of attacks. So the next question, who do I actually think should practice to start playing attacking like he does? In case you have seen the very first video on this YouTube channel where I sort of lay out the basic fundamental sort of philosophy of how I think one can become better at the sport, you might be familiar with that I think that there's sort of an unlimited amount of different ways to get better at our sport. And that the path one should take, the actions one should take to become better, very much depends on your goals. What do you actually want to do with beach volleyball? And I actually take it as far as kind of being hesitant to coach people if I don't know what their goals are. Sometimes you can generalize, sometimes everybody needs to know these things, but especially in like attacking, I very much wanna know what a person wants, 
what's their visions how willing are they to practice uh, what's the time frame do they want to be as good as possible next weekend next month next year or maybe in five years maybe in ten years who knows so here I laid down two attacking strategies the normal way is what I call the well basically how beach volleyball mostly looks like a lot of people learn to jump and hit some hard balls hit some shots and whatnot but it's it's basically this this normal way to play beach volleyball and then there's Eric's way so the two <laughs> there's of course a lot of difference bet differences between them but the two things I want to point out here is the max potential of the attacking strategy and the time it takes to learn and master it. So obviously the normal one you can see all the way up to the pro level. I think it has the maximum potential of everything we know about beach volleyball today. Maybe in 15 years, 10, 20 years, there will be other ways to attack the ball that will be even better, but that's to be seen. So today that's the normal and it has the maximum potential. Unfortunately, it takes quite a while to learn sometimes depends kind of on the athlete what they what their background are and so on and so on and also how much you want to perfect it of course you can somewhat quickly learn to jump high and hit the ball but is that going to be is it going to take you all the way to the maximum potential potential the pro level or are you going to need to actually change something in your approach later change your arm swing change your speed in the hand and whatnot to make you a better attacker so actually to reach the absolute max potential might take a lot of time this way. Now again, the Eric's way has quite high potential. I've actually seen Eric win a set from an ex-Olympian player uh, once and uh, I've been very frustrated with his attacking and there's a lot of other people that have been frustrated with his attacking because it is hard to play against him. He some of the key points about his attacking is that so he uses the tomahawk a lot so he basically looks kind of the same no matter if he's gonna hit the shortest of the short balls or the longest of the rainbow balls all the way back to the baseline and he can also very quickly change in the end he can change directions so he actually sort of at any point has a very good accuracy to all of the four corners of the court and you can't really read him and that's the strength of him also I believe that it's much easier for him to read the court and see uh, the defenders before he attacks because if you actually think you're reading him you're like okay he's gonna go short you take one step to the short uh, defense he's gonna see that and put it right behind you uh, so those are the main strengths which makes actually his game be at a high level and and people being frustrated with this attack at the same time of course everything takes time to master but I've taught uh, this summer is the first summer I've had a practice where I actually taught people to attack like he like he does and in one one and a half hour practice I was able to get six girls to play to know the fundamentals and they were like putting short balls, putting long balls with pretty good accuracy and all of a the sudden they, they had so much more fun playing against each other because these girls used to play sort of this they tried to attack but they really couldn't so they ended up giving just basically free balls to each other then it would be this uh, very long rallies but now all of a the sudden they were like doing trick shots and, and short ones and long ones and, and frustrating each other and they had a lot more fun playing and that's after just one and a half hours of group practice that's pretty cool so in the end I believe that if you're aiming for a very high level of beach volleyball play a maximum potential one I don't really think you should you should practice this um, but except in some actually some cases I do I have practiced Eric's way of attacking especially in the periods in my career when my shoulder has been injured. I've sometimes had to rest my shoulder and just to be able to still play and have fun, 
because I could receive, I could set, I could all do everything except hitting, and I could even serve conservatively. Uh, just to be able to have fun and continue playing, I adapted Eric's playing style. And I haven't practiced it much, but I can get a lot of people frustrated with it still. Uh, so, in, in case you're like in, in, in an injury period, I would say uh, try playing like Eric does. Or if maybe you're very tired, some people have a heavy regimen in the gym, they, they train their legs a lot to get their vertical up or something, and you just don't want to jump. You don't want more jumps. Well, guess what? Eric's playing style doesn't require a lot of jumping. But the main people that I do think that should adapt this style, which actually surprisingly is a, quite a big part portion of uh, beach volleyball players, are the people that don't have so super long-term goals. They sort of see beach volleyball as this fun thing that they do in the summers without like, it's just basically a hobby. It's, it's not a professional career for them. Uh, but they're frustrated because they can't kill the ball. And learning to attack like everyone else does takes a lot of time and they don't have time for that or the willingness to do that. So in case your goals are a little bit shorter but you still want to jump, uh, no, 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 you want to jump ahead in your skill quite a lot. I think Eric's way is a good strategy. Actually, there's a third sort of this career hack strategy that I think some people should do. It is easier to learn normal attacking when you are friends and play with higher level people. You need to have someone who can set you here. And one of my strategies to get to that is to learn to set yourself as quickly as possible so that you can go and practice hitting with together with people that are maybe better setters than, than what the setters at your level of beach volleyball play is. But another way to get up in the, in the ranks, we all know beach volleyball is very much a sport where people only play with people that are good enough for their level. Well, if you learn Eric's way, you might be jumping Eric's way of attacking, you might be jumping two or three or four levels of beach volleyball play upwards all of a sudden in like a month. And all of a sudden you have access to way better people. And now these people might be more prone to wanting to practice the sport, wanting to go and drill and, and set you and, and get, get set so both of you can learn this, this normal way of attacking. So you can sort of, I believe some people could teleport themselves into higher skill by learning Eric's way of attacking really quickly and that could in the long term actually lead them to actually have an easier time to learn normal attacking. And also a last category of people that I believe should learn this sort of attacking are people with maybe knee problems, maybe shoulder problems. Maybe they're getting older but they still want to continue playing the game competitively. Well, I've seen, I've played against 70 year olds in California a couple of years ago, uh, got beat up to hell by them. And I foresee myself playing this sport very long, a very long time. And if I get knee problems in the future, I know what I'm doing. I'm doing it the Eric's way. Uh, so that's another category of people that I think should, should sort of consider playing this way. All right, so I think that's it for now. Uh, if I have forgotten something and I remember it later, I'll add it in the description or comments or, or something. I think most probably in the future, if there's interest out there, I will make some tutorial videos on how to actually attack like Eric does. It's somewhat straightforward, but there are some tips and tricks that makes learning it way easier. Maybe if we're lucky, I can even get Eric on the channel. We'll see about that. However, for now, please like the video if you liked it. It helps my me and growing this channel a lot. Share the video with some friends. Maybe you have someone who really needs to know this sort of information to get their beach volleyball playing to the next level. Uh, subscribe to the channel, of course, because there's gonna be a lot more content, a lot good content on here in the future. Uh, comment on the video if there's something I missed or something you're wondering about or whatever. Maybe you want Eric here to teach this stuff to us. And of course, I have a Facebook community, a Facebook group that you should join. <laughs> Where <laughs> I hopefully take better care of uh, the members than I seem to take care of this uh, whiteboard. 
All right, see you there. Bye.